glorious sunny day here in the commercial and political capital of Uganda. With a population of over 4 million people, Kampala is endowed with a diversity of ethnic groups and of course small and medium enterprises that are helping to drive the economy. Now at the forefront of driving the economic agenda is DFCU Bank. An idea to help DFCU investment clubs get a push into financial independence was born. The battle for cash. Hundreds of applications were received from investment clubs interested in battle for cash. But only 20 were selected. If I'm among the 20, then I'm already the winner. I can't wait to share our business proposal. 20 DFCU investment clubs have been selected from different parts of the country for this unique opportunity. Now, in order to win, they have to pitch and impress the judges with their brilliant ideas. And we, as a group, believe that we are intelligent enough to display our strategy. Now, they'll be tussling it out in the hopes of winning not just cash. But a study trip to Nairobi and financial advisory services from PricewaterhouseCoopers for one year. The judges. Joseph Kasaija, an economist and a seasoned banker with 19 years experience in the banking and microfinance industry. Joseph is the manager of SACOS and Investment Club's DFCU Bank. Joseph has been responsible for mobilizing over 8,000 investment clubs in the country, supporting DFC Bank attain market leadership. Anne Chohire Mohanji, a life coach and motivational speaker, passionate about empowering people. Anne has 15 years experience in capacity building and personal development. She is a senior consultant with Investors Club Limited, an investments club coach, and a member of the Heritage Investment Club and the Reader's Table Club, and also the founding chairperson of the Investment Clubs Association of Uganda. Adam Sengoba, an associate director in PricewaterhouseCoopers with over 12 years experience in provision of within the PwC risk assurance practice. Adam has experience in audit, corporate governance, risk management, regulatory compliance, information security, technology assurance, and resilience services to clients across Africa. He has helped clients across public and private sector industries in building risk resilient entities through better identification, assessment, measurement, mitigation and optimal leverage of risks for business benefit. Many business ideas collapse due to lack of adequate startup capital to see them through the stormy waters. For these 20 investment clubs, Battle for Cash is a chance of a lifetime. In fact, we have started planning for the project to invest in this money. We want to use the money to, to launch the startup. All the way from Eastern Uganda, Soroti Women Cooperative Union Limited, Umoja na Mandeleo Savings, and Namakakali Farmers Cooperative. They're all here, their minds and eyes are set on winning the prize. Now I'm going to convince the judges. But I will use my brain to answer all those questions. I'm prepared to deliver whatever I have. From Northern Uganda, Emmaus VSLA Group, Genebere Outspan Organic Farmers, and Agency for Rural Transformation. They're looking at taking their businesses to the next level. If only they win the prize. I expect to be in number one so that I happen to be the best and I invest the money I'll get from here in our business. From the West, Chinyogunyu Youth Bull Fattening Group, Omkago Bugongo Women Group, The Peak Investment Club, and Ruharo Hospital Gratuity. 
they're ready to present their winning ideas to win the money. And right here in the capital, Plus Save Group, Surveyors Investment and Savings Club, Super Saving Group, British Investment Club, Sichomo Development Organization for FAS, Input Investment Club, University Senior Savers Association. They've brought their A game to impress their judges and achieve their dreams. First in to pitch their big idea to the judges is a nervous Fred representing Sichomo Development Organization. My strategy is just to present and the outcome is the judges. The club from Mukono has 873 members and their big idea is cage fish farming. Fred, good morning. Good morning, madam. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Are you fine? You're comfortable? I'm fine. Great. What is Sechom Development Organization? What is it all about? Sechom Development Organization is an NGO, a non-government organization, registered with the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Uh, Sechom started, or it, it was incepted in 2006, by a group of five members who, who tested HIV positive. Since then, we have been working with several projects. We have worked in health, water and sanitation, and uh, right now Sichomu is actually having over 873 registered members. The project title is Seed of a Small Scale Cage Fish, fish Farming for Rural Orphans and Vulnerable Children in Mukono South. And uh, as we see, the overall goal of this project is to introduce low cost fish cage culture technology to poor OVC families and their caretakers so as to improve their nutrition status and livelihood. Uh, to achieve this goal, we have specific objectives. The specific objectives are to introduce low input cage culture technology to poor OVC families. Beneficiaries, alert the beneficiaries that cage culture is a profitable option of aquaculture and requires minimal investment. So as a means of diversifying the bigger income, the group intends to construct four fish cage uh, with technical assistance from the fisheries department of Mukono District Local Government. Why fish culture? The problem need. Fish culture in cages is not a traditional technology in Uganda. It's not so popular. Fish and fish products have over the years remained a major provision of white meat, as you know, uh, for people who have silent diseases like diabetes, they encourage to take white meat. Uganda has a comparative advantage of fish production in tropical belt because of the proportion of fresh water. If you only have a minute, well, okay. what would you like us to know about Sichomo in conclusion? Sichomo, we are there to help the need, the need in the uh, in the community and we work with the community. We have fish all over the place. Yes. What is so unique with your fish, in, in just two words, what is so unique? The uniqueness about this fish is that uh, we, we want, first of all we want to do away with fish fingering. We want the fish to grow within six months and then we introduce them to the market. Mm. What is the continuity plan? The continuity plan is that the fish itself is a, it, it, it is a source of income, first of all. So these people will be getting money from fish sales from the market. So they will be, after getting the fish they save and invest more mm -hmm. in the fish production and other projects that are running. I would like to understand how do you operate on a day to day? As such we have policy guidelines, we have a team, we have offices, we have a team, uh, myself, I'm the team leader of Sichomo, but I have some other seven workers. We have field officers, monitoring and evaluation officer. We have the field officers. We have OVC contact person and the psychosocial workers. We also have volunteers who are trained by us in the community. You talked about other projects you're currently running. Yeah. Yes. Could you just give us a feel of what you've been able to achieve from a financial perspective? One, 
we we have managed to have demonstration gardens that produce several vegetables for market vendors. We have uh, we, we have people who are who are rearing chicken. We have uh, and we are getting when we sell off these chicken mostly croilers. We get finances from them. How do you get the, the items in the market? We we have uh, people who go and look out for for the market. They go to institutions like schools. They go to health centers and look out for people who can buy the items. <laughs> These are some of our products. The OVCs who are trained in schools. So when you go to pitch for a fishing business but bring dresses for samples, hmm. Fred, I thought you would also bring us fish. Yes, Where these are not related fish? to the business that we are. Yeah, that we said that they are targeted uh, business. But it's okay. Yeah, we are diversifying. Mm -hmm. yes. These so are products you that are already. These are produced by. Does that mean we have the paper, the, the hardcover, or do you. No, we, we, we buy the papers and then you we, assemble them. You we assemble them. Okay. So it's the assembly? Yes. How long has each one been in Florida? Since 2006. So that's a long time? Yes. Okay. So you distribute this to schools? Or? Yes. And they're done by HIV positive? Yes. Great. Do you do some savings? Yes, we do. How, how much do you each one, does each one save? We start with 1,000 for the, for the younger girls yeah. who are in skills. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the minimum is 1,000 actually. Every a, day? A week. Every and the maximum? A week. And the maximum? There, there is no maximum. It depends on what you want. Do you have any general meetings for your members? Yes. Okay. We have an, accounts and all those things. Yes, we have annual general meetings, minutes for board, and okay. quarterly meetings, and okay. months. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we also have clothes. It's from the girls who do tailoring. Okay. I've missed out on fish. Eh? I, I thought I would go and fry one. Mm -hmm. and, you also have and, and these the white shoes. Meat. Hmm? Mm. So those are our products. We also have uh, liquid soap. We have Synergy. cake bakery. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. All the same, Fred is confident he convinced the judges. The judges are encouraging me. What I'm doing on ground is good. And uh, hopefully, I'll go through. You're still watching the premiere episode of Battle for Cash. Now, was tree planting ever a good project? Well, British Investment is about to find out. NTV, turning on your world. Life. Sometimes we try. Ask why. We cry, break, and wish we could die. Hope, daydream, window shopping, things we could buy. School fees, daily cheese, we get on our knees, and still, nothing comes with ease. But if we keep getting up again and again, understanding that no pain, no gain, never giving up, pushing up, hooking up, with a startup, you stand up, set up, and realize it's time to wake up. Because you are a winner and headed up. No dream is beyond reach. Because DFCU is making more possible. DFCU, with pleasure. There was bedlam in Parliament this afternoon when the motion on the age limit controversy was pushed to next week. Yet the principles of Parliament remained under the clashes of the army. Does the bar of the gun rule supreme under the facade of democracy? Or this agitation for lifting the age limit in the constitution is driven by popular demand? Later this evening, I'll host the former Minister for General Duties, Professor Tassis Kabwejere, 
The former leader of opposition, Professor Morrison Ogenga Latigo, the acting president of FDC, Honorable Alice Salaso, and Honorable Rafael Majezi, and political analyst Robert Kironda. It takes hours of training to glide like this. Big Crystal is made to glide like that. Big Crystal, it makes the grade. Distributed by African Queen, number one distributor limited. Input Investment Club is the second to present to the judges. Ellie is the only club member living in Uganda. I can't wait to share our business proposal with the judges and hopefully at the end of the day we will become the winners. At Input we are involved in uh, several projects, one of them being tree planting, the other being uh, uh, real estate and the third one being Banange African Crafts and Fabrics, which I'm here to present to you. This uh, project has uh, five stages, one of them being the supply of products, uh, the second one being uh, customs and uh, clearance of products, the third being packaging and inventory, uh, the fourth online platform, and the fifth uh, being sales and consumer experience. Now, I'm the one who handles the supply of products. I receive the orders from the members in the US with the particular designs of uh, items that are on high demand. I look out for the artisans. So far we've identified uh, two artisans here in Uganda and uh, three in Rwanda. So. One of the things that I do is check out for the quality of the products that we are buying, and I also handle the shipping of the products. Once, they are in the, once they've been received in the US, Ezra and Sonia do the clearing at the airport, and they make sure that all the goods have been received. Currently, our uh, receiving center is uh, Laurel, Maryland, in the U.S. Once they've uh, received these goods, then the other two members, Tracy and Sonia, do the packaging and inventory. Here the goods are recorded, allocated prices, packaged, and photos are taken once again, and they are distributed to selling points. Once they've been distributed, Donald, Juliana, and Deo, who are also members of our club, do uh, update the e-commerce portals that we are using currently, eBay and uh, Amazon, with the new products that uh, they've received. And then uh, we also, they also manage the sales uh, on, uh, for the online platform, as well as uh, resolve online issues that have been raised by our customers. I'm happy to be part of a team that is bridging the gap between people in the diaspora and back home through selling our culture, our experiences, and also bring, uh, contributing to the economy of Uganda.
through saving money. Tell and, us about uh, how, when, how many orders come in, how much do you get out of it? Okay. How much capital have you invested okay. for now? In our first shipment, we invested $1,000. How long have you been doing this? Well, it's still in its inception. This was our first shipment. And uh, as we speak, the members are currently selling off our first merchandise. The U.S. being a market that uh, uh, looks at quality, that looks at uh, durability, uh, and prestige, really. Uh, what would preempt someone to, to leave a big store that's having other crafts and come for the Ugandan craft that you're actually exporting to the U.S.? Ensuring that they are of high quality and also affordable and unique. You've talked about the thousand dollars you put in. Yeah. In your application, you indicated you need seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and when you look at the merchandise that you're still selling, how confident can I be that if I put in seven thousand dollars, I'll be able to get my return? And how long will it take for me to get my return? The sales that we've made so far, which are how much? Uh, around uh, 1,500. Uh, around 1,500? Yeah. From the, the, the... From the 1,000 that we invested. Okay. And we are projecting to get our, at least uh, something like uh, 3,000 something. So for the 7,000, what's the breakdown? How are you going to utilize that money and what are the projections in terms of profit? 60% mm. will go into production, uh, into supply rather. Uh, that uh, meaning that uh, it will be used to buy the merchandise, uh, pay any other individuals that we might contract as a club to help us with some of the activities that are involved in acquiring these items. And then the 40% will go to advertising and sales. So what you're saying by paying any other individuals, what you're simply saying is you're yet to articulate what it will mean for you to perform when you get that money. Did you come with a sample of what you've done before? I do have the samples on, on, in, uh, on my phone. Okay. I and then um, do you have audited accounts? How long have you had? How, how long has the club been in existence? It's uh, three years. Do you have any audited accounts? No. Not at the moment. Do you have a constitution? Yes, we do. And it's signed? Yeah, it's signed by all members and registered. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. From the look of things, Ellie desperately needed a sidekick. But has he done enough to stay in the competition? The questions were a little bit uh, uh, challenging, but I did my best. It's the turn of British Investment Club to face the judges. Yes, we have uh, the strategy that we are going to present to the judges in a few minutes and we as a group believe that we are intelligent enough to display. They have dressed the part and one of the girls is rather nervous. But does their big idea have the ability to spit out profits? Let's find out. Yes, eucalyptus trees have a number of uses, like for example electricity transmission poles. We use them for props for construction industries production of essential methyl oil, timber for furniture, fuel wood for industrial and domestic use, uh, plywood manufacturing, paper making, and sawdust making used in carpentry and joinery industries. My colleague has a number of steps that we can take in venturing into this business. The steps are number one, we shall acquire a piece of land, and number two is preparing the land, number three is obtaining seedlings, Number four is planting and waiting. Number five will be market, and she's going to take us through the different types of markets that we've spotted before we, 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 we end us in the business. We have a number of market op options that we have, which include electricity distribution companies, for example, you, Uganda Electricity Distribution Company, Taneso in Tanzania. We also have pharmaceutical industries, we have plywood making companies, furniture making companies. Uh, we also have construction companies that use ma mainly for real estate and uh, construction purposes. According to our research, South African England eucalyptus trees are grow faster and it's supposed their poles are normally straight and have less disease affection. So we opt to 
to invest our money while planting South African cloned eucalyptus trees. Briefly is a is the details of our budget. We shall need a few a few we shall need a few items before we start our project and that is land. We we anchor to, to we, we we want to purchase eight acres of land worth five million per acre and that's forty million. Trees, pangas, slashers, water water drums, water source, spray pump, holes, wheelbarrows, my monthly labor, that's for like after after planting we shall have constant workers at the farm, those will be two, and we estimate each person will be paid 100,000, that is a total of 200 per month. Planting labor, during the process of planting we shall need over 10 workers on the farm, and to our research, each, each, each tree, they cost 100 shillings, and that is around 3 million, 3.04, and miscellaneous will be 3 million to, to help us run the farm. Yes, our uh, over remarks are, as a club, in this world we have two options. The, the first, first choice is to work, work hard for our money, money and, and the, the second, second choice is to let the money, money do the work for us. you. As bridge, we chose to work hard, then our options are quite, if we choose to work hard, then our options are quite limited. If you let the money do the work for you, then uh, investing in eucalyptus farming will help us realize that we have a lot in store. That is our choice as British. What, what is your choice? Thank our you so choice. much. Yes. <laughs> Adam, tell them our choice. <laughs> how many are you in the group? We, we are, are ten. ten. Ten women? Yes. Wow. And how much do you contribute? 50,000 per month. Are you registered? Yes, yes we, we are registered. registered. Do you have a constitution? Are you a limited company? Actually, what legal structure do you the have? consultancy company told us we don't, we, we, we're not supposed to be limited. There's a, there's a structure that they gave us. And it was certified by a register of documents? Yes. Okay, that's fine. How long have you been in place? Two years. What have you done before? We have not done any project yet. This is the Reason first project we're working. We want to work on. What is your net worth? It's 60, 60 million. 60 million. Yes. How much do you collect every month? Actually, we have a, a, a trend. Each year we increase the, in the contribution. For this year, we are at 50,000. And as per now, we have 11. 11.12 in the bank. Mm -hmm. By next year, we, we shall be we shall be contributing 100 person, 100,000 per person. That will total. That will increase our our savings. You need to convince this panel mm -hmm. that if you are to win this money, we mm -hmm. give you 25 million. Mm -hmm. You've not done a project before. All you have is savings. That this money is not going to go down the drain. Some of us are already doing business. So, it's not so we have ideas. So we have ideas. We on have how ideas on how to manage. I'm a decorator. I'm an events manager the events and she also has something that she does she can I'm do a graphics work. designer by profession so I work with a graphics company I've I've attained enough skills to manage a business your events she's she's uh, in mm. graphics why are you outsourcing the advertising we all have different skills Did it makes sense to pay an extra dollar to someone else to do advertising with the experience no the, 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 the advertising accounting. we're talking about is maybe going to TV and make and run an advert Maybe like that, maybe radio, in, informing people that we have trees that we're selling off. And we shall be doing the work, as today we've done the work, the presentation. We shall be doing that, we shall just be designing the concepts, but we shall take them out for, for publicity. How do, you, um, how do you plan to get this, this trees from SA? You said the, the unit cost is 100 per tree. Planting, the planting costs. Those farmers, those ordinary... How much does a tree cost from SA? Range, it ranges from 350 to 400. And how long does it take to grow? Four to five years. The and South African economy. You said in four years you'd have a return. Actually, when we plant these trees in the first year, the first 18 months, we have to practice pruning. This pruning, while, while planting, we plant trees, one, we space in them one meter. So after 18 months, we have to spray, we have to prune to move some trees that can be used as construction poles for these construction compounds and leave the other trees. To, to increase in size and and height. So after 18 months, we shall already have market for some trees. Those trees actually, the, the construction poles range from 2,000 um, 2, to 3,000. 3, uh, but uh, I meant to defer. For the mm -hmm. electricity poles, it doesn't take four years to grow them. It doesn't take four years. It doesn't for, take four years. Those are the but, ones we prune but out. But we're advised South African cloned eucalyptus trees grow faster and are more conducive and more adapt, adaptive to the environment of Uganda. Okay, which kind of soils do they grow in?
have a client actually practicing this business. And they also advise us to, take, to use land in the way. First of all, it is convenient. We all will stay in Kampala, so we don't need land that is very far, like maybe Kavale. Whereas soils have a lot of termites. Okay. Yes. These this, um, insects are that help in, in killing ant, ant hills. I mean, they, they help in killing, in destroying the ant hills. So, and, and, and as I said, we're going to be monitoring weekly basis. I want you to tell me. Which clients are you going to focus on? Because I don't think Umeme goes to the farm. We are planning Imagine. our main focus wholesale, wholesale. are real estate oh. agents. Yes, so and focus is real estate agents? Yes. yes. And how are, how are you going to get that product there? They're With, not going to come to your farm? For the real estate agents, it's very easy to carry them from wherever they are to the farm because they need cheap material. Well, looking at all the hardware, if you're talking about real estate, mm. all the eucalyptus is delivered to the hardware. And they actually sell on credit. The hardware people don't have to pay cash. So you need money. You can't sell on credit. You can't deliver the product to the hardware. Who's going to buy the product? I think we shall do research on that. This is what a hot room is like. The girls walk out wondering whether they should be thinking of another project idea. Well, well, well. It was a very wonderful experience. It's my first time to be in front of a panel. as shivering, as shaking, but... I'll hopefully, we hope for the best. You're watching the premiere episode of The Battle for Cash. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back with Plus Save. We want to start up an, uh, an application. NTV, turning on your world. Life. Sometimes we try, ask why, we cry, break, and wish we could die. Hope, daydream, window shopping things we could buy, school fees, daily cheese, we get on our knees, and still, nothing comes with ease. But if we keep getting up again and again, understanding that no pain, no gain, never giving up, pushing up, hooking up, with a startup, you stand up, set up, and realize it's time to wake up. Because you are a winner and headed up. No dream is beyond reach. Because DFCU is making more possible. DFCU, with pleasure. I'm living proof that even with HIV, I can live a healthy, productive life. And that's because I began taking my ARVs the day I tested HIV positive. I still run my business like normal despite being HIV positive. That's because I immediately started taking ARVs the day I tested positive. The day I tested HIV positive, I began taking ARVs to protect our baby. Don't give HIV a chance to weaken your body. Ask your health worker to start you on ARVs the day you test positive. In Africa, every morning can be a challenge, but someone you trust brings you joy and hope for the future. That's the African way. MoneyGram, bringing you closer. Available wherever you see a MoneyGram sign. Can one expect the unexpected? Now the answer to that is yes! Can the new Plays with the old. I'm giving it a try. We'll see what happens. Don't talk to the Can the broken be made whole? We get knocked down, we get back up. Wow. Can the fallen rise again? You get out there, you show me what you can do. You be the boss. And can two wrongs make a right? One day you will have to repay me for all the losses I suffered at your father's hand. Unquestionably, the best entertainment available this month, only on DSTV. 
There was bedlam in parliament this afternoon when the motion on the age limit controversy was pushed to next week. Yet the principles of parliament remained under the clashes of the army. Does the bar of the gun rule supreme under the facade of democracy? All this agitation for lifting the age limit in the constitution is driven by popular demand. Later this evening, I'll host the former Minister for General Duties, Professor Tassis Kabwejere, the former leader of opposition, Professor Morrison Ogenga Latigo, the acting president of FDC, Honorable Ali Salaso, and Honorable Rafael Majezi, and political analyst Robert Kirunda. News updates is brought to you by Plascon, color your world. We have a notice and no motion. Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya defers tabling of the anti-age bill motion, criticizes heavy security deployment. We are behind Majizi. Cabinet ministers back bill to remove the presidential age limit. Also tonight, 48 people arrested as the police crack down on politicians and pro-age limit protests amid heightened security in the city. Offices of civil society groups sealed off for a second day by police. Activists warn President Museveni against causing turmoil. With the same paint you've known for over 55 years. The same products you've trusted to color your world. But now, with a new name, Plascon, color your world. Next, it's Gilbert Okello representing Emmaus Investment Club, whose members are seriously warming up for the prize money. They did not get the memo that this money is supposed to be invested in a project. I know I'll do something for the betterment of my group. Representing uh, Emmaus? Emmaus, VSL group. So briefly tell us about yourself, about the club, and uh, how long you've been in existence. Emmaus, VSL group, has uh, two starting projects or work at the moment. A month we collect like six million. If you calculate at the minimum of 8,000 selling, we collect like six million. How many are you? How many are you? We are 30. And how long have you been in existence? This is the second year. We started on the 1st of uh, January 2016. What is the aim of this investment club or VSL? Our aim is to eradicate poverty. What have you done before? We, at first, we thought it wise that if we come together as a group and then we make according to our constitution, we have a, a daily collection from there. In, in, actually, in the group, we have people of different, different categories, like me, myself, I'm a contractor. We have about five contractors, of which you know, with the condition of contract, if you're given contract, you're supposed to use your own money, and then you are paid later. So that is the time the group will come in and borrow money to our members, and then if they finish the work, they get money, they pay us at an interest of 5%. The second activities we are doing, we have three stations of uh, mobile money, of which that one is for the group project for the group of which in a month we are getting like 600,000. So when the FCU gives you this 25 million, if you want it, what are you going to use it for? There are very many people warming for money since I told you we have produce dealers, okay. we have tailors, they would need to have money like it is a, towards the end of the years. People need dressing, things of that kind. They need their capital to buy materials so that they sell. So to now, people. me, my question is, how sure am I that when we give these people who have warmed up for that money, that that money will not get lost in, in those projects, that it will actually make more money? What uh, is your strategy about the strategy? The 25 million coming back double also. The 25 million, if we are to win, 
we are not to, we are not going to give it out. Say we are going to give it to each and every member. It depends on a member's demand. If you need like two million, you should tell us the reason why you need two million, and you give a security for the two million you what you need. But what guidelines you have in place that um, help you with the decision making on how to award the different loans to the different members? The criteria of giving out loan, if supposing people are many, like you stated, when people, maybe there are five people who need a loan, at first we should go and view at your daily collection how much as so far you have collected. You've been in existence for two years. Yes. Have you monitored your members to say that they were at a certain poverty level, A, and now they are, they are elevated? My question why is that if we give you the 25 million, how will you know? Because the aim is to, to give. eradicate mm -hmm. poverty. How do you monitor and evaluate that our members are actually getting better? Last year, when we started the, uh, the group, mm. we were not paying a daily collection at a tune of a minimum 8,000. Mm -hmm. We were paying at 5,000. So from there, we realize that at the end of the year, we are not realizing some good money that can make us have another plan or to extend our business. That's why this year we sat down, we thought of raising it to 8,000, and then we leave. Thank you very much. Um, we wish you the best, and we hope that that poverty is going to go away. Thanks. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm now ready to wait for the result, but I'm sure I will be among the people needed. This is Plus Save Investment Club. The group has university students who wanted to secure their future, especially in the face of the unemployment burden the country has. Plus Save Group is a group of youth basically university students and those who have completed we started business early this year that was on the 1st of January 2017 though we were in existence before but we had not yet started business it was more of the social bit of it we came up with uh, this idea to begin saving our money the little that we get so that we can find a way of investing this money and multiplying it. Our business idea, it's called Ambulus Plus. It's a medical transportation system. You know, most medical transportation systems around are known and non-emergencies. But this, what we're coming up with, is an emergency medical transportation system. It's kind of hard, and it's not, it's not for everyone, like ambulance systems, transportations. Currently, in case of accidents, there are police hotlines and ambulance numbers, some of which are, I don't know if you know any, but when we were young, we used to hear the 999-911. You'd call them, and they're inefficient. They take like one hour plus. That's one hour list. Yeah. So we want to start up an, uh, an application that would provide rapid response to emergency situations in form of ambulance services. So we want to create that link. The application creates a link between ambulance service providers and the clients. In case you have, a, you have shock or you have... A, road accident like uber yes in a way our objectives mainly about for this application one we want to save lives we want to better rapid transport of ambulances to emergency situations we want to avail amb ambulance services to all individuals so we want to encourage and promote all works of humanity and charity for the relief of persons in sickness distress suffering or danger without any distinction in terms of race class or dominion so the company overview, Ambulance Plus will be a tech company that will develop an application, the rapid response, I've said this, mm -hmm. in Kampala Metropolitan. Uh, at Braden Plaza, it will start with a minimum of four employees with relevant experiences, overseen by managers of Plus Safe Group for the start. This company will be aided with a team of advisors to help with the key business decisions and growth, like people who have started something like Safe Border. They know how these things work. So our main motivation to come up with this idea was uh, me personally, why I supported it, I, had a, I have a friend whose mom passed on. She was from the farm. 
and she just collapsed. Now, the serviceable available market will be the sick people. That is self-explanatory. The companies or organizations, these people need these ambulance services to go and train their employees to, to train their students. Then dignitaries for life assurance, uh, in case we have an ambassador or someone coming and they are going up country, they need that escort ambulance. What have you done before? Right now, since we are still in school, we do the money lending and we also have a farm. A little farm in Busuji. What is that, the farm? We have vegetables. And you sell them? Yes, yeah. on a three monthly basis farming. Um, I've heard about your strategy. For instance, I'm the owner of A. Plus. Hmm. Yeah? What I have all, I have ambulances, I have everything. What, what will I be looking out from you in as regards signing up? Market. On your app? Can't I do the app myself? I'll look at market. Because if A plus, A plus is not the only ambulance service provider. So if, uh, if we, we start this application and we patent this application, it's only us allowed to do something of this sort. Where do you have the evidence that it's not patented anywhere? Mm. Not in, even in Nairobi, Rwanda, Burundi, Southern yeah. Sudan, or even someone has patented it for the Africa? Well, and you we, can't do the same. We have tried to, to Google search about it. And uh, as per our country here, we've gone to the registration bureau and at least we are sure of Uganda. And from Google, we've been able to see. Definitely other people will come to duplicate it. How are you going to fight the new market entrance? It is all about the way you advertise, the way you bring yourself into the market. Why, why would I wait for ambulances that would be only handy? Well, uh, if I'm looking at Kampala, Kampala Metropolitan, yes, you know, the, in terms of volumes of vehicles for Uber, the yellow taxis, the green ones, and all the others, mm. I bet they triple or quadruple the ambulances we have. Yeah, you know? true. And if I look at um, hours of operation, some of these ambulances are not working 24 hours. You know, so for me as a customer, would I opt for your app or would I just get an Uber? Your green taxi or your Uber does not have equipment to sustain your life. The battle is just getting started, so tune in next week and cheer on the investment group from your region as they tassel it out in the battle for cash. Save, invest, and win. in Parliament this afternoon when the motion on the age limit controversy was pushed to next week. Yet the principles of Parliament remained under the clashes of the army. Does the battle of the gun rule supreme under the facade of democracy? All this agitation for lifting the age limit in the Constitution is driven by popular demand. Later this evening, I'll host the former Minister for General Duties, Professor Tassis Kabwejere. The former lead of opposition, Professor Morrison Ogenda Latigo, the acting president of FDC, Honorable Alisa Lasso, and Honorable Rafael Majezi, and political analyst Robert Kironda.
2017 Top 100 Mid-Size Company Survey is here. Are you a mid-size company with a turnover between 360 million to 25 billion? Do you have three years audited books of accounts and not listed on the stock exchange? This is your opportunity to sit among the great. Do participate by calling 0392-080708 and the questionnaires will be delivered to you or you can pick them up at the Daily Monitor Publications offices in Namuongo or at KPMG on Renzo Records. The Top 100 Mid-Size Company Survey 2017 is an initiative of the Daily Monitor and KPMG in partnership with Vodafone, Insurance Company of East Africa, South African